In this video, we will show you how to make a dry box. This one happens to be small for caps, but if you're doing a shirt dry box, it's the same thing, only larger. And we have two dead bolts, and when you open it up, there are three things that are really important. One is you need to have some sort of a seal around the edges so that when uh, you close the box, and this is just stripping with, with uh, adhesive on the back of it, um, when you close the box, absolutely no light gets in there because you'll be operating your exposure unit with white, bright light, and you don't want any of that in there. Secondly, the shelving must be absolutely level. So you may want to put some leveling feet underneath to level it up, but make sure that these shells are absolutely level so that liquid emulsion doesn't run. And if the wood is at all rough, might catch the mesh, you could put contact paper or something over that to make it smooth. So that's the second thing. And the third and most important is that you have to have airflow through here. So we have two holes. There's one here and there's one up there. And the one down here, what we do is we have a funnel and a fan. It's just a common fan. Took a furnace filter, rated one to five microns and taped it to the back. So the air being pulled in is being filtered to keep any dust from the shop going into the box. Okay, and then we would mount that up against the, the um, funnel and that would push warm air in, into the box. And the warm air is going to go up and then out. And now that hole right now is shown as open, but actually what you need is a, what they call a blind hole, which means take a big square piece of wood and you will screw it right over that hole but with some spacers so the air can get out but the light cannot get in. And the other critical thing is that hole must be at least as large as this hole or better a little bit larger. If that hole is smaller than this hole it's like trying to blow into a coke bottle. You can't do it. So you need to, to have a larger hole otherwise you're going to get back pressure in this hole and it will shut the fan down. So you have to have the two holes then you just slide your screen in there and uh, throw the deadbolts and you're in business. And that way you have a controlled environment regardless of the temperature, the, the light, humidity, outside the box, it'll be uniform in there. Great place to dry screens quickly, also a great place to store screens. So you have screens ready for you when you're ready to print. Any questions, give us a call.